Hi guys, very good evening. In this video, we will see how to use the tools in fitting shop. In fitting shop, there are five categories of tools. First one is work holding device. Second one is marking and measuring tools. Third one is striking tools. Fourth one is cutting tools. And finally, we have finishing tools. In this video, we will see uh, the tools under each category. And I will show you how to use them in the fitting shop. Important tool in the fitting shop is this uh, work holding device. The common work holding device that we use in fitting shop is this bench wise. The name bench wise, as you can see, this wise is attached to this uh, bench, and uh, that is why we call it as a bench wise. If you see in this bench wise, we have one handle and we have one. Uh, this is the movable jaw and this is the fixer jaw. So when you rotate this handle, the position of the movable jaw get adjusted which will help us to hold our piece for example see here i'm, I'm holding a mild steel plate here and i'm placing it like this and i am rotating the handle so once i am done you can see that the mild steel plate got firmly held in this uh, bench wise okay so now one important point when you are using this bench wise is that avoid maximum extension when you are holding the workpiece. For example, if you hold the workpiece like this, so when you are doing any machining operation on this, because of vibration, the finish may get affected. Okay, so to avoid that, it is always recommended to keep the extension of the workpiece as low as possible. That is generally less than 5 mm is recommended. Okay, so just uh, you can see the difference here. The extension of the workpiece above this joist very less so you try to keep it as low as possible okay so this uh, this is the most commonly used uh, vice in our fitting shop again interlink the name is bench wise because it is connected to it is um, held with the help of the bench okay it is always fixed to this bench in case if you want to remove you can just uh, remove it and uh, place it in other location okay so this is the first uh, work holding device next we will see marking and measuring tools so in marking and measuring tools we will use this uh, steel rule we all know what is the purpose of steel rule the main purpose is to measure the linear dimension okay and we have this tri square so this tri square we will use it to check whether two edges are perpendicular to each other. For example, I have this uh, mild steel plate in my hand. Okay, So, yeah, I want to check whether this edge and this edge are perpendicular to each other. So, what I am going to do is that I am going to hold this uh, tri square in my right hand like this and bring the workpiece and position it like this. So, when you are able to, after positioning, if the two edges are perpendicular to each other, we can't see the other side from the through this tri square. So if they are not perpendicular, we can easily see the other side as there is a, a gap between the tri square edge and this workpiece edge. Okay. So this is how we have to use the tri square to check whether the two edges are perpendicular to each other. Uh, <clears throat> we have a lot of calipers starting from uh, this is called inside caliper which can be used to measure any uh, cylindrical uh, hole diameter okay i'll show you how to use this and then we have outside caliper then we have this jenny caliper and then we have this divider okay so we'll see how to use them so first i'll show you how to use this uh, inside caliper you can see in this caliper we have two legs one is fixed other one is movable so if you want to adjust the gap between the two legs so hold the inside caliper from the bottom with the help of your middle finger and adjust the ball screw so that the movable leg gets adjusted okay so this is the procedure to use this uh, inside caliper so let's see how to use them to measure the inside diameter So I just uh, wanted to measure the gap between these two jaws. Okay, so uh, you can see how I am placing placing this inside caliper now. You can place the inside caliper touching the two jaws, and we can use the steel rule to know what is the dimension. Okay, so approximately it is uh, four 
5.5 cm so this uh, gap between the two jaw is around 5.5 cm so this is how you have to use the inside caliper next we'll see how to use the outside caliper as the name uh, suggests it will be used to check the outside diameter uh, you can see here uh, similar to inside caliper here also we have these two legs one is fixed another one is mobile rotate the ball screw to change the position of the movable leg okay so use this uh, middle finger as well as thumb to rotate the ball screw so that the gap between the two legs are getting adjusted okay so now uh, we'll see how to use this uh, outside caliper for measuring the diameter of this uh, mild steel rod okay so i have adjusted the uh, position of this movable leg using this ball screw okay so you can see here this exactly touching the two ends okay so now we'll check what is the diameter so diameter is around uh, 2.6 cent sorry so exactly it is around uh, 2.5 centimeter so this is the procedure for using at outside caliper next we'll you see how to use the uh, jenny caliper similar to this uh, outside caliper and the uh, jenny uh, inside caliper we have this uh, jenny caliper which can be used to draw a straight line at a particular distance uh, on the metal plates okay so uh, we have one uh, fixed leg another one is uh, adjustable using this ball screw we can just change the position okay so i am interested to draw, draw a line on this mild steel plate at a particular distance from one of the edges so i am just uh, using the chalk piece it. okay so now you just uh, use this uh, jenny caliper and draw place one of the legs on the edges and the other leg on the surface so that we can com comfortably draw the line okay so this is how we have to use the jenny caliper one more thing is we whatever measurements uh, we are doing inside the fitting shop it is always recommended to do it on this uh, surface table uh, usually it is made up of granite uh, the flatness and the straightness uh, aspect of the surface table is very good so the error with respect to measurement will be minimized as possible minimized to the maximum okay so we have seen this um, jenny caliper now we'll see this divider so the divider we know the purpose is to draw a circle of a particular diameter so if you wanted to draw any uh, circle uh, just uh, use the chalk piece to highlight it and uh, whatever measurements you are taking with the help of divider you can just draw a, draw a circle okay this is the purpose of divider and one more marking tool is there which is called uh, punch okay with respect to punch we have two categories one is uh, dot punch and center punch will show so this is a uh, two punches so one is uh, called a dot punch another one is called a center punch the angle is uh, what differs among the two in one that is in dot punch it is around 60 degree in a center punch it is around 90 degree okay so when you are doing any uh, drilling operations you use this uh, center punch to mark the point at which location you are going to uh, make the hole okay so that is it will it will give some uh, uh, benefit so we'll see how to use them uh, this uh, dot punch and center punch uh, on this mild steel plate so basically if you are interested to make any permanent mark uh, on the mild steel plate we can go for this uh, dot punch or uh, center punch in the previous case we have used uh, chalk piece but it is not permanent in nature it, uh, it will uh, the white color will come off easily so if you want to make it permanent we go for this uh, punch okay so in order to make punch we use this uh, striking tool one of the major striking tool that we use in our lab is uh, this um, hammer this is a ball pin hammer so with the help of ball pin hammer we can use the use it to hit the hit the this one uh, punch so that the impression will be made on the given job okay so for example if i'm interested to mark the punch so first is initially hold the punch at an angle of 60 degree and then make it 90 and then use the hammer to strike you can see there is a small punch mark which can be seen that was made with the help of this dot punch 
if you want to make uh, another just uh, start with uh, the 60 and then bring it to 90 degree angle so you can make a line if you want based on this punch mark uh, the cut further cutting operations can be performed okay so if you want a permanent marking you can go for this uh, punch okay so with this i think uh, i have covered all the marking and measuring tools along with the striking tools that we generally use in our fitting shop now i'll show you what are the various uh, cutting tools that we use it in our fitting shop okay with respect to the cutting tools uh, we use uh, two uh, two main cutting tools one is this uh, oxa blade which is connected to this oxa frame another one is we use this file so we will have different types of file i will come back to that later now we'll see how to use this uh, uh, oxa, oxa blade okay so you can see here we have this oxa frame to which we have connected this uh, blade you can just uh, remove this with the help of this uh, wing nut okay so this is the blade okay so you should connect the you should uh, connect the blade to the oxa frame such that the blades are in forward direction you can see the blades are in forward direction that is very important the teeth are in forward direction okay so you just connect it like this with the help of a wing nut just connect it to this frame this is a c type frame okay make sure that the teeths that are present in the blades are in the forward direction as shown it bigger okay now i'll just try to cut this uh, mail steel plate okay so one important uh, observation that you should make is i have i we should apply pressure only in the forward stroke and in the reverse stroke the pressure should not be applied see here i'm applying pressure when i'm coming back i'm not applying pressure so this is the way to use this okay so this is how you have to use this axa blade okay this is you see my position of my two hands left hand left hand on this uh, c type frame and uh, right hand on the wooden handle okay so that we can comfortably move forward direction pressure backward direction no pressure this is the procedure to use this oxa blade next we'll see files okay files is uh, file is one of the tool which can be used to remove the unwanted materials on the given work piece okay so we have different types of uh, files based upon the shape as well as based upon the purpose based on the purpose we have two categories one is rough file another one is a smooth file okay so rough file as you can see here the impressions are very uh, uh, very thick means uh, the knurled area is very thick so roughness is very high what i am trying to say is the roughness is very high as a result of that the material removal when you're using this file is more so this will be this is called a rough file whereas i'll show you another another file which is generally we call it as a, a smooth file you can see the roughness is very less so when you use this file for material removal the material removal will be very less it will help us to make the surface little bit smoother okay so based upon the purpose it can be either rough file or smooth file and based upon the shape we have different categories like uh, this is called a flat file 12 inch flat file 12 inch flat file okay this is a half round file you can see here this side it is rounded this side is flat this is a circular file square file just the shape changes and then we have this triangular file triangular file okay so this is an example for a finishing device a finishing tools in our fitting shop that is smooth file okay six inch smooth file okay so we can have the same smooth file for 12 inch also depending upon the requirement we can prefer the size okay so we have this 12 inch flat rough file in the same size we can have smooth file also okay so now we'll see how to use them so similar to this hoxa frame just hold one of the left hand on the top portion of the file and the right hand on the wooden handle okay so just apply pressure in the forward stroke only and in the reverse stroke no need to apply pressure so this is how we have to use the file so once you use the file on the edges of any material depending upon the roughness of this file the amount of the material will get removed okay and accordingly we can shape it to the uh, shape it 
to our required dimensions okay so basically we will use it in the edges so that the edges are a little bit smooth okay so i think uh, i have covered all the tools with respect to the fitting shop to summarize uh, i have told the five, there are five categories of uh, tools in fitting shop one is work holding device second one is measuring and marking tools third one is <coughs> cutting tool fourth one is striking tool and finally we have seen finishing tool so uh, not uh, in addition to this we have different tools uh, whatever we are using in the shop that is what i have uh, shown you here in addition to this we have a lot of measuring tools uh, like vernier caliper uh, micrometer all those stuffs i didn't cover that because uh, in far our experiments we are using these tools only. okay so this is the work holding device i told you in the beginning and this is called bench wise we had seen this uh, outside caliper inside caliper tri square okay and then we have seen this uh, jenny caliper divider and then this uh, punch dot punch or uh, center punch so center punch we have to use it for drilling and then this hammer then this uh, cutting tools we have this hacks of blade okay and then file categorized into different types uh, like flat file rough uh, flat file half round file round file tri uh, triangular file all those steps so depending upon the look depending upon the work piece we have to use different files okay so in if you are in, if you are just uh, trying to remove unwanted material at the edges that is uh, at uh, right angles we can use this triangular file i'll show you an example for example uh, if i want to file in this uh, corner at the intersection of these two edges we can use this triangular file okay so this uh, one of the corners will help touch the this location and help us to remove the unwanted material in this location it is difficult to use uh, other files so depending upon the location of location and the type of the work piece you are using we are we should choose the file okay so thanks for uh, listening so in next video we will see how to perform uh, various operations in the fitting shop okay thank you